The World Health Organization just issued global guidelines over GLP-1 weight loss drugs. Let's break it down. Medication alone will not solve the obesity crisis. The World Health Organization's guidelines are basically broken down into two categories. Number one is recognizing that GLP-1 drugs are effective, but they must be used continuously and in combination with lifestyle modification and therapy. And that also, we need to be prioritizing access, equity, and infrastructure so that everyone has access to these drugs if they need it. Essentially, the World Health Organization is saying, first of all, GLP-1 drugs are not a magic bullet to take by themselves. And also, this cannot just be a rich country or rich people drug. Everyone needs access. We have to have some fair use. We must work together on strategies like pool procurement and tier pricing to make these medicines affordable for all. In addition to recognizing the effectiveness of GLP-1 drugs, the World Health Organization is really stating that obesity is a growing complex medical condition and requires comprehensive management that's also fair and accessible to all. Right now, according to the World Health Organization, there are a billion people living with obesity, and this number is projected to rise to 2 billion by 2030. A very real production issue that the World Health Organization is raising is that right now, GLP-1 drugs can really only cover about 10% of the global obese population. That's not nearly enough if we're gonna be addressing this complex, growing, chronic medical condition. Obesity is a chronic, relapsing disease that drives heart disease, diabetes, and some types of cancer. It was linked with 3.7 million deaths globally last year. The World Health Organization really puts out a call to action to countries, to policymakers, when it comes to looking at not only the supply and access to GLP-1 drugs, but also in terms of approaching obesity as the chronic complex medical condition that it truly is. First of all, when it comes to GLP-1 drugs, the World Health Organization wants countries to recognize that there may be gaps in production and that production gaps need to be addressed, the costs of these drugs need to be manageable, and the healthcare systems need to be ready for a potential influx of people who will need these medications over the next several years. That's not only making sure that people can get in to get these drugs prescribed to them, but that also they have plans in place to be monitored for continuous long-term use, side effects, and so forth. In addition, that people have access to intense behavioral therapy and lifestyle modification as they're getting these drugs. But then also the World Health Organization is calling on countries to realize that there are underlying factors to obesity that have to be addressed, social, cultural, and environmental. People need access to affordable healthcare. They need access to safe places to go outside and move, access to affordable nutrition, and so forth. The chronic growing problem of obesity globally cannot be solved with just a new medication, especially if people can't afford it. People should also note that given the growing demand of GLP-1 drugs that are outpacing their production, there is an entire black market of people selling these GLP-1 drugs online on social media. So it is very important that you are getting any type of weight loss counseling or medication from a board certified healthcare professional. And as always, if you have questions about getting prescribed a GLP-1 drug, about potential side effects, or if you meet the criteria to be on this medication to begin with, you wanna make sure you are talking to a board certified healthcare professional.